Y'all know I wrote a book, right? It's called Buy a Game and it's free. Click the link down there, you got it. DreAllDay.com What's up everybody? Dre Blow on DreAllDay.com Maria Soul and author of the Ultimate Athlete 15 week off court, complete off course training for basketball, position of power, which I don't have in my hand, just sent it to press. It'll be out by the time you see this video. Strength training. For anyone who has equipment, you want to train strength for basketball, not just for life, but for basketball. Not the beach, but for basketball. You get this program and that one together at hoophandbook.com. This is the author of both programs, Maria Solman. What we're talking about right now is rest. Rest and recovery and days off. Because athletes here for me, they see my they hear from me, work on your game, put in the work, show up every day, do what you gotta do, be disciplined. I do talk about that stuff. But there I did take rest days in my workouts because resting is part of work. And Maria's gonna talk about that in a moment. But also players ask, well, Dre, I want to be disciplined. I want to keep working on my game. When do I take a day off? Or is it okay to take a day off? Or how do I know when to take a day off? Or how much recovery do I need? Or they'll say something like, I've been working out. I worked out hard the last three days and then I worked out today. I felt really tired and sluggish. Does that mean I need to push through it? Or does that mean I need a day off? Right. How do they know the difference? I know that's a lot of questions I just asked. That's a lot of questions. But talking about rest and recovery for an athlete. What do they need to know? What are the most important things they need to know? Like Jay said, it, it is actually better for your body. It's part of the training. Um, your body's not going to get these these. Your body's not going to produce results if you don't rest your body. Mm -hmm. It needs it. You you know, days of recovery is going to get you to perform better at what you do. Um, you know. If, you, if your body's like sluggish and you're feeling like heavy and you're like you worked out you killed it the past three days in a row I think it's time for a rest but it could be an active rest and there's different kinds of rest it doesn't mean you're sitting at home not doing anything maybe that that's going to get you more sore sometimes it takes your body like 24 hours 48 hours they call it 48 hours epoch of um, POCK or POC um, it's basically when your body takes 48 hours to get the fatigue or the soreness you're like, oh, I feel great. I just had this killer workout yesterday. But then it's the next day that you're actually really sore, 48 hours after, and your body's just, you're, you're, you're feeling that. And that would be like a day that you, you want to move. You don't want to go kill it again. That would be like breaking down the muscle even worse, or more, or more I should say, sorry, right. worse. It would be breaking down muscle tissue. That's right? already broken down. Correct, because your body's healing. It's like, you know, you're sore. Your muscles are maybe inflamed, or like they're just they're tired. So you want to be doing like an active rest. Maybe you go for a light jog for 20 minutes or 15 minutes. You do a little bit of endurance training. Doesn't mean you're killing it, you're not doing sprints. You're doing something a little easy, or you do some stretching, or you do a yoga class, or you do a foam rolling. I talk a lot about foam rolling. It's, yes. it's, it's We'll talk about that maybe in another video, but yeah. <laughs> maybe. Um, <laughs> it's very important. So rest and recovery, it, it's part of the training program. You can't just keep training and keep training and keep training and think your body's just going to keep going like a machine. Like, so question is, how does an athlete, how can an athlete tell when they need a day off and when they just need to stop uh, bitching and yeah. fight through it? All right. Every, obviously everybody's body is different. Um, so if you have a plan, like you have to have a plan. You can't just wing it every day. If, you're, if your goal is to, you know, whatever your goal is, be better for the season. Be the ultimate athlete during the season. <laughs> like you have to have this plan so you know your schedule, right? Mm -hmm. And if you're, yeah, and, you know, if you're, if you know on Monday you're you're lifting weights and then you have basketball practice, that's a lot of training. You got to make sure that you're eating correctly to nourish your body to be have the energy to keep playing so that when you do break down the muscle, meaning you're not breaking it down in a bad way, it's just you're training it, you're getting it stronger, but that it has to heal, so you got to get the nutrients to make it better, but you also know that you're training hard, you've got a lot of time, you're, you're training that day. Tuesday, maybe you you are like, well, right, I got to do my sprint training and my plyometrics or whatnot. So you have two days in a row and you've got Wednesday and you have a game. So maybe you don't go and you don't go to the gym. That's your rest day from the gym. And maybe the rest day from your, your cardio training. So you do maybe an active workout, such as the stretching, the foam rolling. You're, you're not sitting on the couch, you're working still, but in a way that's conditioning your body to perform better the next time. So okay, so let me, one important thing I heard you say there, you said a lot of important things. I know, I'm sorry. One very <laughs> important thing I want to point out is that you said, 
in order to get clear on when you need to rest, yeah. you need to have a damn plan. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So you can't just keep. You can't just say, "I'm just work on my game forever." You need a plan. Right. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain one thing in this book so yes. you guys do understand because the way I planned it out because I don't know you because I don't know you and I want to know you. <laughs> I want to help you. Um, the way I, I did this is so that you can have any day of the week be your day one or your day two. So you'll see in here as it's it's uh, going through, it's like day one, week four, day three, da 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 da. So your plan needs to be on a day that works for you. So if your day one just happens to be Monday because it's the start of the week, then you follow day one, day two, day three. And that's your plan because at the end of the week on day seven, that's your rest day. But it can also be your choice. Maybe your rest day has to be on a different day because it doesn't work into your schedule. So just because I have it written in here does not mean that you can't like fidget those days around to accommodate your schedule. Right. But it yeah. will tell you. And it's all weighed out. It's, it's structured for out. how you can make the alterations. Don't just get it and just say, I'm just do whatever I want. No. You follow it. You do it in the way that works for you, but right. you still follow the plan. You right. understand what I'm saying? It's like if you're an actor, you read the script, but you still got to be yourself because that's the reason right. they hired you as an actor. Right, so, you got to make it work for you. So and the there are rest days in there, so I don't cut you off now. <laughs> so we cut each other. So the most important thing, the most important thing that I heard there when it comes to rest is you got to know what the hell you're doing. There must be some type of plan. You can't just go out here and just say, I'm going to just work out until I'm tired, then I'm going to not work out, and I'm going to work out again until I'm tired. You got to have some kind of plan and structure as to what you're doing. And you don't even have to figure all that out. Because listen, we already did all the thinking for you. At whopanbook.com, you know about the signature workouts, signature manuals. Then we got the ultimate athlete, we got the position of power. We laid the whole thing out for you. The whole thing is laid out for you by professionals. We know what the hell we're doing. You want to become a professional, listen to a professional, and work on your game. Dre all day. Whopanbook.com.